What is a seed bank? A seed bank is a place where seeds are kept for a long time so that plant genetic diversity can be kept. Seeds that are kept in seed banks can last for hundreds or even thousands of years before they are no longer good to use. People all over the world use the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. How Seed Banks Work Seed banks are made to keep seeds alive for a long time. They have the right conditions to keep seeds from sprouting or rotting while they are in storage. Most seed banks run at minus 4 deg F. The cold weather makes the seeds last longer. Seed banks don't have a lot of humidity. This makes sure that the seeds can be used for as long as possible. Types of seed bank Seed banks can be broken down into groups based on what they are for and what they do. So there's no big difference between seed banks. Preservationist seed bank Preservationists store seeds in vaults to protect them from unexpected disasters. Man-made, wars, or natural calamities can be the cause of these things, floods, tsunamis, etc. Farmers rarely get seeds from these banks. A Citentialist Seed Vaults There are a lot of seeds in these seed banks that can be used in the future. There are people who can help farmers get seeds after a disaster. They let farmers grow crops that have been lost, which helps prevent food shortages. Productivist Seed Bank most of the seeds that are kept in productivist vaults are used for research. Scientists who work in these seed banks are trying to make seeds that can make more food. They can mix germplasm from different plants to make crops that can consistently produce a lot of food. Why are seed banks important? Seed banks are very important for the survival of plant species, and they help them do that. Some plant species are in danger of going extinct, just like animals. People can also get food from plants that are in the food chain. There is a risk that plants will die out, which could harm food security and the environment. 1. Preservation of genetic diversity in crops. When we have seed banks, one of the main things we want to do is keep plant diversity alive. Species of the same crop can grow in different climates around the world. There are some people who do well in the tropics and there are others who do well in temperate places. Most seeds can grow in a wide range of environments because they are adaptable. Seed banks keep important plant species from going extinct. That way, we won't have to lose certain crops in the long run. They can help to keep germplasm resources safe by having these storage places. 2. Protection from natural and man-made disasters. Whether the disaster is man-made or natural, it can cause crop damage. Wars can put a stop to farming and may also cause food shortages. Farmers can get seeds for their farms after a war if there are seed banks in place. Floods and other natural disasters can cause a lot of damage to a lot of farming land. This can have a huge impact on some crops. Farmers can get seeds from seed banks to grow new plants for their crops. There are also a lot of disaster-proof seed banks. They can withstand bombs, floods, and other things that happen. 3. Provides seeds to further crop research. Seed banking helps scientists get the materials they need to study different kinds of plants. Scientists can do research to make crops that are more resistant to pests and diseases, so they can make more food. This will help a lot with food production and it will also help keep plants from going extinct. Seed banks usually have a lot of different kinds of seeds, which lets scientists compare plants. Research can also help scientists find plants that are good for you. 4. Pest and Disease Resistance It is possible for plants to become sick with both bacterial and viral diseases. Pests can also do a lot of damage to crops. Most crop diseases can spread from one plant to another in a short amount of time, but not all. 
This means that when there is an outbreak, whole plant species can die. People who keep seed banks can be very helpful when pests and plant diseases hurt or destroy crops. They are a backup plan for scientists and farmers who need help. After a disease, framers can get seeds from seed banks. Because this makes sure that the seeds that you plant aren't contaminated, you should do this. 5. Seed banks protect plants from climate change or 4. DFD 5 GV. This is because climate change is making droughts more intense and last longer on the planet. This is bad for food crops and other plant species. The sudden change in the weather around the world could kill off some crops. Climate changes may also bring new diseases and pests into the world. As a result, crops won't grow in the areas that have been affected. With the help of seed banks, plants that are close to extinction can be brought back to life. Examples of seed banks Many seed banks are spread across the world. Seed banks are often found in places where there is little or no human activity. Svalbard Global Seed Vault The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is home to the world's largest collection of different kinds of plant species. You can find it in Antarctica and it's built into the side of a mountain. Seeds from food crops from all over the world are kept in this seed gene bank. A vault is a place where things are kept for a long time so it can handle most types of disasters. Also called the Doomsday Vault, the Global Seed Vault is a safe place to keep your seeds safe. Several feet of permafrost cover the main vault. This is the right way to keep the seeds usable for a long time. Millennium Seed Bank The Millennium Seed Bank, which is in Sussex, also has a lot of seeds. Over 2 billion seeds from all over the world are in the seed bank. The vaults are built underground so that the seeds can be stored in the best way possible. The humidity level inside the storage chambers is very low, so the seeds can't be damaged by the humidity. Seed banks preserve crop diversity. Seed banks are very important for the long-term preservation of crop diversity. In the next few years, a lot of the world's food crops are going to die out. Most crops are hurt by the gradual change in the climate. As a result of this, crops are becoming less able to fight off pests and diseases. This means that in the event of a major outbreak, important plant species could be lost. It's possible to keep seeds in a seed bank for a long time without them going bad. Thanks for joining us today. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more Earth Science conservation, and sustainability topics. And visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.